so if you have tutorial plugin okay uh, yes i will go in admin uh, and you want to have quiz uh, okay so this is my test course and i have the quiz on it that's the quiz yes in the course builder uh, here is a quiz on introduction quiz okay so okay and in the second part you have the questions so uh, you will have the export option and import option okay but uh, when you do export and uh, if you have one question and you do export uh, you will get probably uh, something result like this this was uh, the one exam okay example okay so uh, after uh, adding multiple uh, quiz okay this is also for one this might be but this is the okay so i generated the one x one format okay where I have added multiple 26 uh, questions and their answers, single choice questions and answers. Okay, uh, so it will be easy for you. So your work is only just the copy the question and the answers and set the ans uh, correct answer. Okay, these are the options A1, A2, A3, A4, and this is the question. So similar way, question three is your the question and here a1 a2 a4 you will have the questions and uh, here is a single choice and and uh, in the d column you will have the correct uh, answer choice if uh, a1 is the correct then you have to put one and other are zero so if uh, okay uh, let's uh, try something okay i go to chat gpt and generate a paper okay I already generated a paper and it is with the okay 32 question I will say answers first 26 okay so nice so it also gives me the so i have the questions and uh, answers ready let me try okay uh, for demo purpose i will uh, enter only uh, okay five 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 questions only so what is the okay so this is the question so i will close all okay to avoid the confusion with the old sheets and new sheets <laughs> So this is my 26 sample CSV file. I will give the download link in the description. Okay. So yes. Okay. I already entered the first question. What is the default port number user for MySQL SQL Server? And the answer is 3306. I have put the one. Uh, that was the default question okay okay first one is there i copy the second question i just show you how to copy so here next time question two okay then i have to paste the answers yeah options okay so my scale my scale here okay i just copy this thing okay next my scale These are the four options. Okay, it. My skill. So, select. Just click once and paste. Okay. And I want to see what is the answer for the second question. The second question answer is the C. So C means this one. Okay. So I put it one 
and obviously the a is not correct as i replace it with the zero okay so this way i added the one question let's add some other questions so again you can understand it so what is the purpose of the mysql workbench okay this is the question i paste it then these are the four options okay thank you I will remove that A because it will be automatically taken by total LMS. This B. Okay. We will copy this way. This is more better. Copy. is my okay what am i is the question yes it's a for these are the options and what is the answer for the third one uh, third one is d okay so this is the answer last one and not the second last one so i have just corrected it Let's try fourth question. Okay, I will also okay. First of all, for question answer is A. Okay, I will just uh, mark it as a one. K. Mark it it mark it as one. Okay, right? Yes, right. Something. Control Z. Okay, set to zero here. This is for I think this is default. So A one is the correct answer. Just need to copy the question. Fourth question. First option. Okay, let's try with the multiple line. B. Test them. Not not happening. Okay. Multi line is not supported. I am using LibreOffice. Might be in MS Excel supported. So, four questions are done. Okay, I will do one more. Fifth question. I already marked A as an answer. Okay. This is A B C D A B C D. Okay. Fifth question. Okay, this is the fifth question. Okay. Now we have this four options. Create user, alter user, update user, and drop user. Create user. Update and drop. So I need to find its correct answer. Fifth one, the answer was given. The charge of it was C. 
so save this one. So, no. Uh, update user is the answer. So, as the question is single choice, only keep one correct answer. Okay. So it is for multiple choice. Uh, you may need to change this. Okay. This is a, this sheet works only for the single choice answer. Okay. So I keep other question as it is. And let post these things. So file. Okay, I save as it and give it uh, something like one, two, three, four, just for remembering. Okay, use CSV format because this supports only CSV format. So here is my course, and what I do, I delete the existing quiz. So you can keep both the quiz; it is not necessary to delete existing quiz. Okay. So I just uh, to avoid the confusion because the name of both the quiz was same for it. I guess okay. So import quiz and this is my one two three four five dot csv. I just importing. Okay. So the quiz is done. Let me check by editing. It should have twenty six questions. Okay. Here you can add summary. Try change the title. Okay. okay. These are the first five questions we have changed, and other questions I have not changed. So it is. So if you don't want, you just delete those questions, these rows, like this, and you will have only those number of questions. So as it is a sample testing, so I kept all the questions and their options. Okay. So even uh, okay. So for second, okay, we have changed. Okay. Alright. Even if you edit and check the answer of second is my SQL limit C okay. for second quiz. Second quiz answer is this one my SQL D okay. correct. So it is working properly. So this way you can have the fast inputting the quiz because if you go here and adding what question if you think uh, i want to add some new question so it is quite hard add question and copy paste and take too much time that you have to select this uh, type single choice and the title and then and it is not like that uh, all four options are available you have to every time you have to add option and then type that options then save it and you have to do it four times so it is very lengthy process and so i think this uh, sheet will save our time to creating the twitter elements quiz fastly okay so i will share its link okay thank you that's all for today okay you want to see also the uh, demo okay i what i do I just update the quiz and uh, we will see its uh, demo. What happened? Okay, nothing, nothing. It's updating. Might be that last question. Okay. So view course. I already applied this course. Okay. Okay. Start learning as I did. As an end user, okay. so this is my introduction quiz, okay. And I kept only ten questions in the settings, okay. So start quiz. Mm, I will just randomly click the answers and finally check whether these are the correct as per our sheet. What is the difference between the my IAS system? Okay. So here you are seeing any. So this any is the description. If you have some description here, you can put that description also here. You can put the HTML code also there. So okay. Okay, let me try to full answers. Okay, my I know storage in MySQL. Uh, yes, yes. Which question? Okay, this one. And it is its answer is A. That the uh, support transaction. Okay, Let's submit question twenty. Okay. Which answer is 
20 answer is C. Okay. And I give A1 to check. It should be wrong answer. The correct answer is A3 here, yeah, but I give it this one. Okay. Other question I saw just by simply clicking A, A. So quickly we have the result and cross check the uh, our uh, CSV sheet and the final result of this exam. So whether it is working properly or not, we are testing it. Okay. okay I submit the question or. Click detail. Only the first answer was right, correct. Let us say, and we purposefully uh, choose the uh, incorrect answer here. Okay, that was cross check, and others. Are. Okay. Okay, let's check for fourth one. Is the update user answer? Uh, yes, it was the update user answer. So it is a. Uh, also get cross verified so definitely you can use this sheet to generate fastly a single choice answer for tutorial ms okay